super excited about this tutorial because I'm surprised myself how easy it is to create an AI chatbot with Zapier and you can even create an AI WhatsApp uh, chatbot with Zapier. I'm going to walk you through each step, step by step. We're going to use Claude instead of OpenAI because it's just way easier to use. And also the quality of the, of the replies is so much better than OpenAI. So stay tuned. We're going to end up doing an AI chatbot through WhatsApp in this case. All right. So the first step, imagine, let's imagine a scenario where, for example, you have a new Facebook lead ad, you will send them, they fill out a form and you want to send them a WhatsApp message automatically. So you could do this with a WhatsApp notifier system. I'm going to put the link for that later, but it's, it's here console.notifiersystems.com. Anyways, that's when you, you, you would send that message to your lead, like, Hey, thank you for information. Do you have any questions? Now it's time for the AI to start talking with your lead. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to go here to zaps. Okay. And I'm going to create this step by step with you. The first thing we're going to do is, okay, we've sent the message to the lead. Okay. Now the first, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to have a scenario that starts the moment someone replies to the bot, the moment someone sends you a, a WhatsApp message. Again, we're using, um, if you go to WhatsApp build app, they have three different products. For this, we are going to use the notifier system one, okay, which is like you send WhatsApp messages from your own bot. It's super well made, um, very easy to use. So they have a trigger. If we, if we go to notifier system, the trigger would be new instant uh, message from the recipient, which means whenever a message is sent to the bot, to the WhatsApp bot, this scenario will start triggering, okay? I'm going to select my account. All right. And the only thing this does now is it's going to say, Hey, you've received a message and it's going to share a, a bit more information from it. Uh, I'll show you actually the, the parameters that we get from it. We get the last message sent by the user, which is like whatever I have written to the, to the, to the, uh, WhatsApp, we get the last message sent by the bot, which would be the message that the, the, the bot sent to the user. And then we get something super useful, which is the conversation paragraph. We're going to use this for AI a lot. It can be also used for updating CRMs, which basically one of the th parameters they give you every time the user writes to your WhatsApp, they include the full conversation between the bot and the user inside here. So you can use this for uh, giving context to an AI later. Now, the next step we're going to do is search for Anthropic. It's a bit hard to write but you can see it here. Okay. Now for the action event, there's only, I think one, which is send a message. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to need to create an anthropic account. I'm going to go through how to create an anthropic account later, because if you know how to do these things, it's very easy. I'm just going to select my account. Okay. But I'm, I'll, I'll do this at the end of the video. So I already have an account here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is the user message. If you click here, you see, this is the most recent message that the assistant will respond to. Okay. Now this is very, good as an integration with notifier system, because one of the things we get here is the last message sent by the user. So we just give it, Hey, here's what was the last conversation. Now the system here, this is more like the prompt. Here's where we give context to it. I've already written it and, and I'm going to just copy paste it to give you an idea of, of the things that you have to put. I just want to save you a bit of time here. So the first thing we're going to tell the, you tell, tell the bot is here. Let me just put it here. We're going to say, here is the context of the conversation we have had between the bot and the user over WhatsApp. It could be empty if it's a new conversation. Okay. And then we're going to put as a variable, the conversation paragraph. So now the AI has full context. Now we're going to give it some rules. Okay. In this case, I've, I've made, for example, a bot for ordering groceries. Okay. So we're just going to explain to it, um, a bit of the context. So I'm telling it here. You are a bot that helps grocery deliver service over WhatsApp API. Do not answer any questions that are not related to our grocery service. Your reply will be text only reply over WhatsApp API. Make sure each reply that you do is less than a thousand characters. Feel free to include emojis if it makes you appear more human. Then I've added another rule where I explain a bit about the business. So in this case, you would explain about your business. So I explain, for example, we deliver from Monday to Friday. We deliver, deliver everywhere in New York orders can place uh, be placed on WhatsApp before 
and people can text you whatever they need and you will just have to make up a list from the different messages that you receive. And then I explain what type of products we have. We have these products, fruits and vegetables, well, anything. And then we say, I, for example, say we do not have any liquid in li items, also no, uh, no alcohol. If the user asks for things we don't have, tell them we don't have it, okay? So these are kind of the rules for the bot to on how to behave. All right, so we're gonna add this here. Now for the model, I recommend Sonnet. It's the, the most smart model. Don't worry about the cost. The costs are very cheap. Um, for most, you, you will save so much time and money that it, it, it's always super cheap. And now again, something very good for the integration between the notifier system and this is the memory key. So the memory key is a way of telling Claude, hey, you're gonna have a, conver a long conversation with someone over WhatsApp store this ID, store a specific thing so we can identify that this is always the same conversation with the same person that you're having. Now what we're gonna do is the phone number is a great variable for this because the phone number is unique to each person. So we are going to create a, phone, a memory key which is every time you get the memory key of the phone number, you have you as the AI need to know, okay, you, this is part of a previous conversation we've had, okay? Some other cool things that you can do is you can also have, you can include attachments from notifier systems like an image. So if they send you a WhatsApp, an image on WhatsApp, you could include it here and the AI can actually watch the image. We're not gonna do this for now, okay? And then the next thing we need to do is add another module here, which is again notifier system, which is the reply. So we again select notifier system, in this case, because it's an o it's a very open-ended conversation and the user like the your customer has written to you on WhatsApp we will send send a message as we will send a WhatsApp message without a template okay so we select this this can be any open-ended text or video but we're just gonna do text I think it's easier so message text it would be this we put the phone number is the message it would you have to reply to the number that wrote to you so we get it from the first variable and then here we're going to put only the result of Claude which is the response context text. That's it. Now, this is done. In these three steps, you have now made an AI chatbot over WhatsApp. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised how easy it is. Now, I'm going to add a bit more of complexity to it, and I'm going to say, look, if the customer didn't reply to me after three hours, I want to send a follow-up message on WhatsApp. So again, notifier system, we're gonna do send a WhatsApp message with your, uh, sorry, schedule a WhatsApp message Okay, and we can create specific rules on that scheduling of a follow-up. So I'm gonna show you, we're just gonna send a text message uh, to the phone number that had written to us before. And then we're gonna say the schedule for a specific time. We're gonna say, and uh, sorry, I think we wanna delay it by a few minutes. So we're gonna delay it. We're first gonna write the text. Hello, do you want to proceed with your order? And then we're gonna delay it by, I I'm gonna do by five hours. So by, uh, for 300, or actually 30 minutes. If in 30 minutes the person didn't write, I'm gonna send a follow-up. But okay, we want the follow-up only if they didn't confirm the order. So one, things, one of the things I told the bot is when the user says confirm order, let me see where it is. Okay, to confirm the order, to confirm a delivery, the user has to say the word, the word confirm this delivery. I'm gonna show you how I use this. When the user has said the word confirm this delivery, then we would know in our system that, this, that we need to proceed this order. So what I'm going to do is delay it with the condition that if the last message of the user, con and sorry, if the last message sent by the user, con and then we're gonna say here, does not contain confirm this delivery, then send the follow up message, okay? so. What we're doing is we're scheduled a message 30 minutes after the conversation has kind of ended and we're gonna do if the the, conver the the text of the user does not include the words confirm this delivery. And we could also use uh, things like the conversation paragraph. So give it like if the, in the conversation there was no word confirm this delivery, then do this, okay? I'm just going to delete this now because I don't wanna make it a 30 minute video with follow-ups. So, I am going to now save this here, uh, skip this test, and we're gonna publish this, okay? I'm gonna turn this one off that I had here uh, when testing this before. All right, so now we've made it. I'm going to show you how this works. So I have here my delivery, 
Okay, I'm going to create actually a new message so that you can see how it works. All right, so I, as you can see, I have, I'm gonna test this now, but um, this, I have this demo shop here that I've made. All right, so this would be the template message that you send. Okay, the lead filled out the form. And then we can say, I, I wrote here, hey, I'd like to place an order for five chicken breasts, 10 ounces of pasta, and can you also add ingredients to make a fruit salad? Okay, thank you for that. Let me help you put a list that together. Here's what I have so far. Five chicken bre uh, breasts, 10 ounces of pasta, okay. And then we can say, please also add apples, oranges, and bananas for the salad. Could you also add some lentils? like three kilograms. So now we can see this is running here on Zapier. Did I publish this correctly now? So we can see it's waiting here, it's processing. And now, now it's finished processing. If we refresh this now, we can see it's, it's finished processing. So here's the order, you know, does everything look good? Would you like to add anything else? When you're ready, just say confirm this delivery. Now I'm going to show you something really good that works with Zapier. The notifier system has a chat, right? So you can reply to all the WhatsApp messages in here. So we can actually see the conversation here as well. I'm going to create, I created a label that says confirmed orders. And I'm gonna say, if they say the word, if a user says the word confirm this delivery, then the conversation, you can see it has uh, a few labels. I'm gonna delete them now just to make it more visible. You see the conversation here doesn't have any labels, okay? I'm going now to say confirm this delivery here and it's going to label this as confirm this delivery, which means now the user, now when, when people in my staff of this demo grocery store want to see what are the confirmed deliveries, they can just see it here. So I'm gonna say confirm this delivery and you can see now confirmed orders. So I can then filter by all the confirmed orders. I only have this one and then see all the things that the user wanted um, what, and we, what we have sent, okay? And then you can now create the order for the customer. Once you have finished confirming this delivery, we can just remove it again. And if they say confirm delivery in the future for another order, we would have the labels again to, to know what to handle. And of course in the chat, you can add notes as well. Uh, you can create more labels to assign it to specific people. You can change the name of like the, the person, um, all kinds of things. The notifier tool also has a few other really cool features. Um, you can bulk message. Uh, so if in case you wanna have like a Black Friday offer or any special offer for your customers, you can just broadcast here and it has a smart delivery system as well. So it will send the messages of a bulk, like you can just upload a CSV and it will bulk message. And those messages will like just get sent at, at the right time with the smart delivery system. Let me just show you now how it works to create the Anthropic key, okay? I have already done this but I'm gonna do it one time for the video. So you're going to have to go to anthropic.com. These are the guys who make Claude. It's like open AI, but I think it's smarter. I, I use more Claude for everything. And then click here where it says API, click on console login, okay? Here's where you are going to have to create an account, okay? I'm going to use this email and then we're just gonna put Axel demo and then we're gonna continue. You can choose individual organization, doesn't really change much. And then you, the first thing you do is you buy credits, okay? After you buy credits, which again, you can start with $5 or less and I highly recommend it. Then you will get your API keys. So here you would just create your API key. And I would just say for Zapier, add. Then you copy this key. So, and then this key is what you would put here in the setup. When you select the send message here, you would just choose the account, connect a new account, and you would paste the API key here, and that's it. That's how you connect the account. Okay, so your credit, but I'm not able to do it because I don't have a balance here, but you would be able then to connect it. I have, again, my other account that I use for this. So that's basically how you can do this. All right, so now we have created a full-on AI super smart chatbot in three simple Zapier steps. You've seen how it works. You can even schedule follow-up messages and it's just amazing. So highly recommend to use Notifier System for this. 
very easy to do, specifically made for integrating AI CRMs with Zapier, with also make.com if in case you don't use Zapier and also N8N and other automation tools. If you have any questions or if you see that the bot is not working properly, usually the problem is that your prompt is not good enough. So if you see something happens that you don't like, just keep improving here in the system what the text is. So just write more details and the more details you give, the better your bot will be. That usually solves most of the issues. But if you need help, you want me to help build it for you, you have any questions or you just wanna have like someone to help you as you go, feel free to schedule a consultation with me down below. I'm putting the links for the notifier system, for Anthropic and for scheduling a call with me right in the link uh, in this video. Thank you, have an awesome day and I'm still so excited that this is so easy to do.